We have a much safer banking system. I don't think the next crisis comes from the banking system. So where does it come from? It comes from non-banks, but it's not a crisis different. And why? Because we also have a much safer payments and settlement system. And I think these are major achievements. The big shortfall is until now, until recently, there was very little inclusive growth. So the pivot from... So he kind of gives a BS reason. So he's saying that the problem is, is that obviously we have inequality and that's where he's talking about the growth. And by the way, this is, uh, I believe, uh, PIMCO, yeah, uh, Elron or whatever. But anyways, uh, what I wanted to bring up is he does not mention student loan debt. He does not mention car debt. And he doesn't mention uh, consumer spending power. Wages are stagnant. Uh, consumers are in more debt than they have ever been. And he doesn't think that to bring that up. And yeah, maybe it may not. It is bank related because banks are the ones that are creating these uh price bubbles because we do have a price bubble for the cost of education. We do have a price bubble for the cost of real estate. And uh, people are going to not have the spending power or the ability to keep the economy growing when uh, the, consumer, the consumers are going to get smaller and smaller. And like I said, as the wealth gets more and more concentrated to the 1%, the 1% doesn't spend 100% of their income. They just don't. And, you know, um, For example, I probably spend two percent of my net worth where uh if you look at the people that live paycheck to paycheck they spend a hundred percent of what they get and yeah you know i obviously do some investing and blah 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 but at the same time i'm definitely not if the amount of assets i've accumulated was spread out to these paycheck to paycheck people man it's going right back to the market it's going uh it's going to be spent and it's going to fuel economic growth and as this uh, chokehold goes on these consumers and it's just not the US this is the entire globe as people's spending power keeps dropping we're going to get a recession because there's only so much stock you can buy back and there's only so much debt people can handle until they basically can't do it and that's why we had our 08 collapse and it's going to be funny because they're probably going to try to restructure uh, so that the people that created all this debt can still obviously keep their wealth but it's going to be hard because you're not going to have quantitative easing and you can't pump in funny money. And uh, I do see all of this leading to a large crypto bull market. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.